Tos, the five symptoms of HPV. Human papillomavirus, a dangerous and silent disease. HPV, or human papillomavirus, is the most common sexually transmitted infection, STI, in the world, affecting millions of people. Even if you do not have symptoms, there is a high chance you have been in contact with this virus at some point in your life. HPV is extremely contagious and can be transmitted through any type of sexual contact, including oral, vaginal, anal sex, and even through masturbation. There are over 100 different types of HPV, but about 40 of them are sexually transmitted. Most HPV infections do not cause symptoms and go away on their own, but some types can cause genital warts and even cancer. The most dangerous types of HPV, such as types 16 and 18, are strongly associated with cervical cancer, one of the leading causes of death among women. The discovery that HPV can cause cancer was revolutionary and changed the way we understand and treat this disease. In the 1980s, German scientist Dr. Harold Zurhausen proposed the theory that HPV was responsible for cervical cancer. His research revealed that HPV DNA was present in cancer cells, proving the link between the virus and cancer. For this discovery, he received the Nobel Prize in 2008. Today, we know that HPV 16 and 18 are responsible for about 70% of cervical cancer cases. Globally, this type of cancer affects between 600,000 and 700,000 women per year, and approximately one-third of these women die from the disease. In Brazil, mortality is 18 times higher than in developed countries, partly due to lower vaccination coverage. Countries like England and Australia are close to eliminating cervical cancer thanks to mass vaccination. In addition to cervical cancer, HPV can cause other types of cancer, including vaginal, vulva, penile, anal, mouth and throat cancers. HPV infection is responsible for about 70% of mouth and throat cancers, especially in people over 40. Although smoking and alcohol use also increase the risk of these cancers, HPV is a significant factor. Not all HPV infections result in cancer. In most cases, the immune system can eliminate the virus before it causes significant harm. About 80-90% of HPV infections go away on their own, but a small percentage become persistent and can lead to cancer. There are approximately 13 types of HPV considered high risk for cancer, with types 16 and 18 being the most dangerous. Five symptoms of HPV. Just one, a symptomatic infection. Most people infected with HPV do not show visible symptoms. This means they can transmit the virus without knowing they are infected. Asymptomatic infection is common, and generally the immune system can naturally eliminate the virus. Many people who have HPV don't know it because they don't show any signs or symptoms. They can pass the virus to others without realizing it. So as to two, genital warts. Some types of HPV, known as low risk, can cause genital warts. These warts are small lesions that can appear in a cauliflower-like shape and can vary in size. They can arise on external genital organs, such as the penis, vulva, anus, and around these areas. Genital warts are small bumps or lesions that appear on the genitals or around the anus. They may look like tiny cauliflowers. 3. Warts in internal areas. In women, warts caused by HPV can also appear in internal areas, such as the cervix and vagina. These internal lesions are usually not visible to the naked eye and can only be detected through gynecological exams, such as a pap smear. In women, HPV can cause warts inside the body, such as in the cervix and vagina. These internal warts are not visible and need to be detected by a doctor during an exam. Turuik 4. Warts in the mouth and throat HPV can also cause warts in the mouth and throat. This type of infection is less common but can occur, especially due to oral sex. Warts in the mouth and throat can cause discomfort and swallowing problems. HPV can cause warts inside the mouth and throat, especially if the infection is a result of oral sex. These warts can make swallowing difficult and cause discomfort. 5. Cancers associated with HPV. The most severe symptom of HPV infection is the development of cancer. High-risk types of HPV can lead to cervical, vaginal, vulva, penile, anal, and even oropharyngeal throat cancers. 
These types of cancer can take years or even decades to develop after the initial infection. In some cases, HPV can cause cancer in different parts of the body, such as the cervix, anus, penis, and throat. These cancers take a long time to develop after the virus infection. Sulotinok's importance of early detection. The pap smear is crucial for the early detection of lesions caused by HPV. Regular screenings can reduce cervical cancer mortality by up to 80%. Cervical cancer is a silent disease, often manifesting only through symptoms like abnormal vaginal bleeding. Many women miss the opportunity for early diagnosis by not having regular pap smears. O reduce the risk of HPV transmission. Two measures are fundamental, using condoms and vaccination. Although condoms significantly reduce the risk of transmission, they are not 100% effective because HPV can be present in areas not covered by the condom. HPV vaccination is a highly effective preventive measure. Available vaccines protect against the most common and dangerous types of HPV, including types 16 and 18. The first HPV vaccine was approved in 2006, and today it is available through the Unified Health System, SUS, in Brazil. The vaccine is highly effective, with efficacy rates of up to 99% for lesions caused by HPV-16 and 100% for lesions caused by HPV-18. Depending on the type of vaccine, it can also protect against genital warts. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, recommends routine vaccination for girls and boys starting at ages 11 or 12, but it can be administered as early as age 9. Transmission of HPV from mother to child during childbirth is rare but possible. When this happens, it can cause respiratory papillomatosis, a severe condition that can lead to warts in the newborn's trachea, bronchi, and lungs. This is yet another reason why vaccination is a priority, not only to prevent cancer, but also to avoid severe complications in children. HPV vaccination is an essential public health measure. It not only protects against the most dangerous types of HPV, but also reduces the incidence of cervical and other cancers associated with the virus. Education and awareness about HPV and the importance of vaccination are crucial to reducing the burden of this silent and dangerous disease. Therefore, it is crucial that people take preventive measures, such as using condoms and getting vaccinated, in addition to regular screenings like the PAP smear. Parents and guardians should be encouraged to vaccinate their children at the recommended age to ensure maximum protection. By adopting these measures, we can significantly reduce the prevalence of HPV infections and their severe consequences, contributing to a healthier and well-informed population. Knowledge and prevention are the best weapons against HPV. With mass vaccination and the use of preventive methods, we have the potential to eradicate HPV-related cancers. Collaboration between individuals, healthcare professionals, and authorities is essential to achieving this goal and protecting future generations from this insidious disease. It is important to remember that, in addition to vaccination, regular preventive exams like the pap smear are essential for the early detection of HPV-caused lesions. The exam is simple and quick, but can make a huge difference in a woman's health by allowing for early detection and treatment of abnormalities before they become cancerous. Finally, remember that prevention begins with education. Know the risks, the ways to prevent them, and the importance of vaccination and regular exams. By taking these steps, you are protecting not only yourself, but also contributing significantly to public health. HPV can be a challenge, but with the right tools, we can face it and overcome it.